Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a seven segment display with these lamps over here. So you need a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by I think 11 display of lamps. And once you're done, you're gonna have a four bit binary input and an output of a number display, which is pretty cool. So I'll just show you here. Let's do a seven, which is four plus two plus one. And it should give us a seven. And let me try nine which is eight plus one, and we have a nine. And it seems pretty compact for what it has, and it's partially inspired by MatPat's design. MatPat wings, not, not MatPat, the other one. And it has an encoder with a decoder on top. So this might take a few episodes to finish, but I think it's a pretty cool project for now. So let's get on with the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And yeah, let's get on. So the first thing you want to know is how are you going to light up the different segments like for example if you wanted to light up this segment here of three and you put a lever here that's not three because you have these lighted here and you don't want that so the only way to do so is by having something one block away and that can be pretty annoying to work with especially with pixel displays like this so what we're going to do is only highlight the pixel displays not the entire thing so for the horizontal display we're going to use three lamps and three target blocks behind it and then just three redstone dust and you can use a lever. This is just for testing. In fact, I prefer for the lever to be up here. It instantly turns on and off. And if I put anything else, it won't interact with the pixels nearby. It still works just fine. And then for the vertical segments, we use three vertical ones and three on the side just to show. And then this is a bit more complicated because we can't just use target blocks because what are we going to connect them with? So we're going to put a white concrete or any block of your choice, which I'm using, a redstone torch, and then a block on top, and then a torch again, and a block on top. It's sort of like those torch towers you use to transfer the redstone wire up, but it's a bit weirder. So this one, this torch, will activate this lamp, and it'll also go to this block, which will activate this lamp. And then it'll activate this redstone torch. And it, all in turn, it just works. So then to make it not switch on as soon as I make it, you put a redstone dust and a redstone torch. And if you want it to be activatable, I'm going to put a lever. And as you can see, when I turn it on, never mind. Oh, wait, the redstone torch. So when I turn it on, it switches on. And when I turn it off, it switches off. So now that we got what we need for the segment, let's actually hook them up to the display. So I'm going to hook up all of the horizontal segments. And this is where our horizontal segments are going to be. And I'll just add the same contraption from earlier. Okay, now that's all of the contraptions. Now let's do the vertical segment I showed. I'm just going to destroy this here. The vertical segments perfectly line up as well, so... Okay, I finished every single segment, and nothing should be on, so make sure that you put the torches for the vertical segments. And you should have a redstone output for every single one, and here's just a good look of what it's supposed to look like. Don't forget these torches on the inside, they're very important. If you break them, it's just not gonna work. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next video.